River Cities is just a world-class venture capital manager. Uh, their investments in healthcare and information technology are, are just leading companies in the country. And they've had access to these transactions over a period of two decades. The entire team at River Cities, I mean, from, from top to bottom is composed of first-class guys. I mean, they're, they're just very sharp and they're at the top of their game. Everyone realizes that expertise resides in Palo Alto or in Boston, but Cincinnati has that same type of talent. I mean, they live among us here in Hyde Park and, and Loveland and elsewhere, and I just thought that people needed to know that. Our firm was founded back uh, about 20 years ago by Glenn Mayfield and Ted Robinson. Uh, they happened to uh, win this award back in 2001. We provide equity capital to uh, smaller, younger, high potential companies. Over the past 20 years, we've invested in about 15 local companies. Uh, we've got three in our portfolio right now, and while we do invest on a national basis, it's a lot easier and, and more preferable to uh, invest and have success close to home. We've had the good fortune of working with entrepreneurs like Mahendra Vora and Mike Nazaro, who helped build IntelliSeq that was uh, sold to Nielsen Company, who also has a presence here in town. Bill Aders and the late Mel Fisher built a company called Galaxy Specialty Chemicals. That was sold uh, within the last year to uh, the folks at Du Bois Chemical. And so that was a great transaction, but both a local uh, company built and a local buyer. Lastly, we've been uh, strong supporters of a company in the region called I Square Foot. Uh, I Square Foot, I believe, won this award at some point in the, uh, in the past as well. Uh, a great company that we've helped take from a couple million of revenue uh, to uh, approaching 35 million of revenue uh, this year, and we're hoping that they will have some real strategic value to an acquirer sometime down the line. We are most thankful for the support and confidence placed in us by our investors. I, our business model doesn't happen unless the insurance companies, banks, foundations, and family offices of this region trust us with their capital. And so we certainly want to acknowledge uh, those folks in this region that have helped us build from our first $45 million fund to where we are today. We've raised over $500 million. Uh, we've invested in over 100 companies. And we really do believe that uh, the best part of our uh, careers is still ahead of us.